Taurus, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for June 2023 to see what's going on between you and the person that's currently in your energy. This is going to be for Taurus and for those who have Taurus anywhere in their natal chart. Time is fluid, so anytime you press play on the video is the time for you to receive the messages. Of course, watchers, you are welcome here. And keep in mind that energy is fluid. So the roles may be reversed here, and you may flip the messages as needed if necessary. But never force a reading. If this is your reading, the messages will be fluid. Never force it, guys, okay? So we're going to get right into it for you. Show me the messages for Taurus. Show me what I need to see for Taurus. I hope you guys are well. It's kind of chilly today. I'm in New York. And it's unusual weather for this time of year. And I'm by the water. So it's even colder. Where are you guys at? You know what's Drop in the comments where you're tuning in from. I would love to see where you guys are from and what the weather's like where you are, okay? Show me Taurus. Okay. Cars are shooting out. We're going to start with Tarot. I'm at a white deck. I always feel like I'm mispronouncing it. <laughs> right away. Right away. That's my favorite deck. Okay. I have the page of wands reversed, the fool reversed, the page of pentacles reversed, and the six of pentacles reversed. I'm getting a lot of earth energy. You could be connecting with another Taurus or a Virgo or a Capricorn, or this could be your energy. I'm also getting Aquarius here, picking up on Aquarius energy. There's somebody here who's very insensitive that you're connecting with, okay? This is the kind of person that breaks your heart. Um, this person, there's always something going on in this connection. Like there's always some sort of obstacle, obstacle. I'm getting, um, obstacles, obstacles. There's always something getting in the way. But I also feel like this, these obstacles are created by this full reverse. This is person is very impulsive and they don't make good decisions. There's a lot of foolishness going on with this person. They, they try to take risks that they don't have experience in. Um, this fool is crowning the Six of Pentacles reverse. This person's very selfish. This person doesn't know how to handle their, their money. They bite off more than what they can chew. Um, I'm getting like bad debts, unpaid bills, money problems, okay? Um, but the money problems that they have the debt issues that they have and the selfish behavior that they have is being crowned by this full reverse. They just don't make good decisions, All right? But I do see a page of pentacles here. Show me why this, clarify this page of pentacles for Taurus, please. I got the star. So I feel like on the bright side, there's a positive opportunity here with the star. Somebody in this connection is manifesting something new. They're, they have faith in their future. They're manifesting healing, faith, um, happiness. And with this page of pentacles, I feel like there's something, a beginning of something, something solid. Someone setting goals here. This is the kind of person that someone can count on. I feel like I'm getting the energy of somebody that's younger, someone who's willing to learn. Show me more, please. 
Again, I'm getting Aquarius energy. I got the Knight of Cups reverse. Yeah, your person, they have very poor personal boundaries. This is unrequited love. This is someone who gave you an illusion of what it is that you wanted. And I feel like you recognize that. So you're setting new goals for yourself and you're manifesting healing and, and, and positivity. And you just, you have faith in the future in spite of what this, the issues this person brought into this connection. You know, on baby steps, I'm getting with this page of pentacles, you know, but baby steps is still progress. You know, progress is progress. Show me more, please, for Taurus. Wow, two cards fell out. Scorpio energy and your energy, Taurus energy with the Hierophant reverse um, and the death reverse. I feel like the person you're connecting with, they're not willing to conform to a relationship. Like they're not interested in committing to a relationship. I got a King of Pentacles that fell out. So I have to put that spirit of saint, put that right here with the star. This is part of what you are manifesting here. But going back to this person, they constantly repeat the same bullshit over and over. They're stuck in this, this negative cycle with negative thinking. They're resisting change here. Therefore, there's no growth. Um, they're not in a position to offer you something committal. But I do see a uh, King of Pentacles that wanted to come out the deck. This is somebody of high status. This is someone that wants to offer stability and security. Very mature, very grounded energy that um, I feel that you are manifesting here. Show me the breakdown of this connection between Taurus and their person. This person disconnected, I feel that with the hermit Virgo energy here. Show me one more. Show me one more, please. This person disconnected. Um, and I got the Hermit. I got the Two of Wands reversed and the Two of Swords. This person might have even communicated with you um, not too long ago. And it didn't go the way they wanted it to go. Or there's something that they're working on or tried to attempt to work on. And the negotiations failed for it. Could be connected to work as well or a, a, a business opportunity that failed. Um, this person is contemplating on what they should do. I'm getting that energy with the Hermit and the Two of Swords. Like they're sitting on a fence about something. They feel like they're at a crossroads in this connection. There's a decision that needs to be made. They recognize that it's painful. I'm getting, it's stressful. It's like they're torn either between two people or two different options. Okay, I'm getting the energy of divided loyalty. Take it as it resonates. Um, I'm going to pull more cards to see if this is in fact someone else or just a different, another, another option. Okay. Show me, clarify this to a swords. What are they torn about? What are they torn about? I got the seven of cups reverse. It's not telling me what they're torn about. It's telling me that. They're getting clarity on something here. They recognize that they made a lot of bad decisions and they're getting clarity on that. So whatever option they chose against this being with you, being in this connection, they recognize that it was a poor decision and they, they don't have all the opportunities that they think they had. They're trying to, with the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck, this person is trying to release himself from this stuck energy. They're trying to find solutions to their problems. They are, there is contemplation here. Clarify this from it for me. And I asked for the breakdown of this connection. The breakdown is this person just feels stuck. They are indecisive. Okay. They can't move forward emotionally or physically. I'm getting the energy of someone who's, they, their emotional makeup is tied to their physical so if they don't feel physical physically stable you know as far as finances and everything they can't move forward emotionally so they're just 
the fact that this person is, is resisting moving forward, progressing, is what keeps you guys stuck. And it's why this connection with this person never progresses, okay? But they do realize that they're making bad decisions, okay? Um, I asked about what are they contemplating about. I got the Ten of Pentacles reverse. This, problem, this person definitely has money problems, okay? That's the clarification I got. It's not another person that's keeping this person away from you. It's their instability, okay? Um, they took a, 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 lot, a lot of hits financially. There's been, there's been some huge losses. This person may even owe money to the government, like something with taxes or something or... If they're in some sort of contract, legally binding contract, like child support or or if this person was married to someone else and they have to pay off the, you know, the person they divorced with, uh, what is that, um, alimony, whatever it is. It's, it's like there's some sort of tie legally that they owe to, okay? It's a financial disaster. So that's what they're in their head about. They made really bad choices and they kept, I feel like they kept you in the dark. I feel like you might've been aware, but there's certain things they kept to themselves that they were, they went quiet about. Okay. But they don't feel stable. That's the bottom line here. So spirit, please show me this person's feelings for a Taurus. Show me this person's feelings for us, please. Wow, I had the strength reverse, the queen of pentacles, and the three of wands. This person just, they feel very vulnerable now. They feel like they don't, they don't have enough to offer you. They feel inadequate. Their self-esteem is down. This is Leo energy with the strength reverse. But they see you as someone who got their shit together. That you know you're taking care of yourself. Um, you're very nurturing. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. You you care very much about other people. They like they love that about you, and they just feel like you're abundant. You manifest what it is that you want in your life, and you take care of yourself. And they see you. They view you as a queen of pentacles. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what's going on. <coughs> Allergies. Tree pollen is extremely high in New York at this time. <coughs> um, so this person sees you as somebody that got their shit together. They recognize they don't. They feel threatened by you. Um, and they know that you see them that way. And they're just trying to, to just plan and work on their self-confidence and just move forward. They want to be happy with the choices and the outcome of the work that they put in. They're not, but they're trying to. They're just trying to plan and move forward, okay? Show me more for this person's feelings, please. I got the Emperor Reverse. You could be connecting with an Aries or somebody has Aries in their chart. This person is just very stubborn. They're not willing to come forward. That's why they're in this stuck energy. Like they know they need to move forward. They know they need, they need to work on their self-confidence and they need they have to put in the work if they want the results. But they lack the confidence to do so. And this person is not willing to, again, to compromise. This person is extremely stubborn, this person you're connecting with. This person may have paternity issues, may have... Um, may not have their, their father in their life and getting absentee father with this emperor reverse. It's just that they're not stable. They're not, this person is not stable. Their self-esteem is low. So they, they wanna move forward and they want things to happen because they see that you're doing well, but they don't feel like they're enough for you because they're not stable, all right? So spirit, please show me Taurus's feelings for this person, please. What is Taurus's feelings for this person? Course watchers, those who this the messages um, resonate with in reverse, let me know. I'm always interested in that. <laughs> Show me Taurus's feelings for this person, please. 
A lot of fire energy could, could, could be connecting with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, I got the Three of Cups reversed, the Nine of Wands reversed, and the Five of Wands reversed. Again, this person is extremely stubborn, and you recognize that. You feel like that. I feel like you've many times you tried to come together with this person, um, and they just didn't want to do things the way that, that you wanted to do it. They didn't want to reach an agreement with you. They just want to, it's like, it's, it's my way or no way. Very, very, very stubborn energy. Very stubborn, like Taurus energy. <laughs> okay. Um, and I get that this person is very foolishly defensive. Um, and you recognize that about them. You just feel like you're, yeah, with this three of cups reverse, I'm getting the energy of you viewing your person as somebody that's very low vibrational. Okay, not really getting out much, just complaining, that kind of thing, taking advantage of others. That's how you view them. But regardless, with this five of wands reverse, you would rather end the conflict between you two and reach some sort of agreement still. You still love, you still care for this person. It was, this is a very intense connection that you were in. Very intense, very deep, very passionate, very hard to disconnect from. And I got on the bottom of the deck, the seven of pentacles. You would rather this person just put in the work. You, this is the, you wanted this to work. You love this person, but it can't work because this person is re completely resistant. Show me Taurus's challenges in regards to this connection. Where's Taurus's challenges? In regards to this connection. Okay. Ten of Wands. Again, a lot of fire energy. And the Eight of Cups reverse. This person took you for granted, but your challenge is to continue to move on from this person. Okay, even though you you and this person are not currently communicating, because I got that with the hermit, um, there's still a fear of you moving on from this this person, and that is a challenge for you. Um, but you do recognize this person took me for granted. I felt burdened in this connection. I had to carry everything. I had to carry the weight of this connection, but I'm having a hard time letting go. So that's you know that's a challenge for you. We're gonna pull some advice. Show me advice for Taurus, please. What advice do we have for Taurus in regards to this person? I, uh, this person kept you at an arm's length because they just felt unstable. Everything that you felt that they were and were not, they recognized that that was the case. They denied it to you. They refused to compromise. They gave you a hard time. They argued about dumb shit. But they knew that they were exactly what you felt that they were. Okay? And that's why they kept you at arm's length. Okay? Show me one more, please. Wow. Wow. All right, I have the Magician reversed, the Four of Wands reversed, and the Justice reversed for advice. I'm picking up Gemini energy and Libra energy here. Your, your ability not to move forward is just causing stagnancy, further stagnancy, okay? I get that it's frustrating and there's a need to learn from the past with the situation and make a decision about it, okay? Um, but I'm getting like, this person, you know, I get this energy with the justice reverse that you feel like this person owes you an apology, they owe you accountability, you don't feel like they were being honest with you. Um, and You feel like this person treated you very unfairly, okay? Which is true, they did. Um, but it's time for you to move forward. I got the Four of Wands reversed. This person is definitely just not focused in on you at this time. Um, I, even if there is going to be, if this person is going to come back in, I get like some sort of... No, I don't, I don't even get this person coming in at this time. I just feel like this person is, in, they're not willing to be accountable for their behavior with the justice reverse. They're not learning from past mistakes here. So there's, 
this is unhappy. This is unhappiness. It's time for you to move forward from this. You can't sit still and be in this stagnant energy looking back at this person that's not willing to, to do anything at this time, okay? This person has self-limiting beliefs and they're just stuck. They don't even know what they want. They can't offer you anything because they're stuck. I got the chariot reversed. That's cancer energy. There's obstacles. This person still is dealing with blockages. There's a lot of blockages here and it's just going to fail. This is not a situation that you can grow with this person from at this time. I don't know, I'm sorry, I know you don't wanna hear that, but I have to call it as I see it, as I feel it. Show me more for advice for Taurus. Nine of Swords reverse. Yeah, it's time for you to let go, to recover from this. Okay? There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Remember, I pulled the star and the king of pentacles. You're manifesting something here. You're, you're manifesting a stable partnership. Okay? And for some of you, even a new job. Okay? So, I'm going to pull some romance angel cards to see more about this. Actually, how will, how will Taurus recognize this king of pentacles? Who is this King of Pentacles? How would they recognize this person? Because some of you might even, because you're in denial, be thinking, well, maybe it's my person coming back and change behavior, stability, everything that I've ever wanted. Show me one more. Okay. Why is this queen of... I got the eight of wands, the nine of pentacles, and the queen of swords reverse. I need to know why this queen of swords reverse is here. Please clarify. I need to pull on this. I need to pull a card on this queen of swords reverse. Why is this queen of swords reverse here? Queen of wands. I feel like, because I have the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords Reverse, and the Queen of Wands. I feel like this may be somebody that you might have heard something negative about in the past. Somebody might have been gossiping about this person. This person, by the way, views you as independent, okay? Yeah, they see you as higher level, you know, you're a higher level person. Um, with the Queen of Wands, they see you as very attractive, very loyal, very generous, very kind, and they want to come in fast, okay? Let me pull one more on this Queen of Swords reverse, because I'm hearing gossiping. The Queen of Swords. Okay, this person, I feel like somebody let them know. This is the energy I'm getting with the Queen of Swords reverse. I'm getting that someone spoke to this person about you, about this King of Pentacles. Like they aware of, of, this person is really close to this, this situation, okay? This King of Pentacles is very close to the situation because they heard through some sort of gossip, somebody who's just don't really know shit about this situation, but knows something. They might've heard through your person about them. Um, or they may know this person's ex or child or children's mother and they're talking to this person they try to talk to this person about you and told the business because this person recognizes that you've been hurt by your person with this three of swords that there was some sort of breakup some sort of separation so they know they're in your business and they went to your person this king of pentacles and this but this king of pentacles they view you as everything wonderful you know what i'm saying like so don't take it this person there's nothing wrong with this person is a, a, a dope ass person you're manifesting someone and this happens to be the person that you're manifesting you're not even aware um they see you again as independent and very vibrant very well liked it doesn't matter what this queen of swords reverse said to this person this king of pentacles it's whatever all they see it as you've been hurt by somebody and they want to treat you better anything else that this person is saying they don't give two shits about it but they want to take action fast they want to come in fast yeah they want to approach you fast so we're going to pull some some romance angel cards to see what else is going on here but yeah 
I had to get clarification. I'm like, who is this Queen of Swords reverse? This is somebody who gossips. And they, again, this could be an ex of theirs or a child of children's mother that happens to know some of what's going on with y'all. And so even if you're not saying nothing, your person might have said something. Or maybe they're just lying and they're making up shit. Gossip is not necessarily true. But I feel like this person also said something because they're being deceptive and they want this king of pentacles to come towards you because they want your person to themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like they want their person back if they were with this person before. And I feel like they were. This is an ex. So they're trying to push someone else up on you. But little do they know you're manifesting a king of pentacles anyway. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. I get this deception as this queen of swords reverse being deceptive. Okay? Point blank period. All up in your business. Meanwhile, you're manifesting a king of pentacles anyway. But they, they're pushing this person onto you. They don't realize they're doing you a favor. It's crazy. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And I said that. I said that you're manifesting this person that's coming towards you anyway. So you're divinely protected, Taurus. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And that's because this King of Pentacles is there waiting, but they're going to come rushing in. <laughs> they're waiting now, but they're going to come rushing in. The other person is all indecisive, but you can't seem to let this person go because I get the energy of you still being in love with this person, but still healing, you know? But um, you have to decide what it is that you want so that it comes to you. You know, you're the Queen of Wands. You deserve someone who's going to give back exactly what you give out, okay? Show me more. Show me more. If there's any new noise, there's a stadium close to me. Past life relationship, you have known each other before, okay? So that's why it's so hard to let go of this past person. There's this energy pull, this deep connection, because you guys might have been together in a past life, right? I got two more cards here. Pay attention to the red flags, the signs of caution to you. Yes, pay attention to the fact that this person is quiet, they're resistant, they're not stable. There's a bunch of red flags in regards to that person. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So I get the energy that this person is rushing in towards you. Again, there's somebody that you know, this is somebody that's around you. Especially if you can get close enough to this person's ex to be all up in your business. Show me more. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Yep, because it's, it's connected to this past person that has all these problems, all right? That's their financial issues. You, I pulled the nine of pentacles on you. So you're doing just fine financially. But when you merge with someone, their problems become yours to a certain extent. And there's, there's some sort of connection with this person financially. You might be invested in this person. Some of you may even have a child or children with this person you're trying to leave behind. Very direct message, okay? New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Yep, I said that. Some of you may already be in contact with this King of Pentacles. But they, they're going to take action. Here's your reminder. Text I'm sorry. Alexa, thank you. I'm sorry, guys. Alexa. I'm sorry, guys. Happy Thursday. Alexa was set up. Alexa, stop. I'm sorry, guys. Alexa, thank you. Stop the messages. Alexa, stop sending me reminders. I set these reminders and I'm not available for it. I'm sorry. So you have um, new love here. And I feel like most of you are in connection with this person already. Okay. But just be mindful that your person, this person you're trying to release, this person that you are broken up from, their ex is in your business. Okay. Be, be mindful of that. Before... Um, I guess that's it. That's all I need. That's, those are the messages, Taurus. You, 
you need to release this person. You have a new love here. You have a king of pentacles here. And you manifested this person. All right? I love this for you because I feel like, you know, there's just nothing but stagnancy with this person and uncertainty. All right? So those are the messages that I have for you for this reading, Taurus. If the reading resonated, be sure to press that like button. It lets me know. And it lets me know you want to see more of these messages. I wish you healing, love, and light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.